Hello, welcome to the Daily Devotion. I'm Kathy Morris, pastor of the Dixon United Methodist Church. Anthony of Egypt was one of the very first group that was known as the Desert Fathers. He lived between 251 and 356. This was in the period of time when Christianity was becoming the official religion of the Roman Empire. That means that there were people who were becoming Christians because it improved their standing in society, not because they had had their hearts transformed by Christ. Anthony, though, came from a, a wealthy family, and he did experience a, a great transformation in his heart. He renounced that life of wealth and comfort, and he retreated to the desert. There he desired to experience a purity of heart with which he could see God. Anthony focused his attentions on the virtues of meekness, serenity, contempt for money, humility, love for the poor, freedom from anger. He sought the life of solitude, but there were so many who came to him for counsel that he eventually formed a community of, of solitaries. Anthony wrote, By the word of his power he gathered us out of all lands, from one end of the earth to the other end of the world, and made resurrection of our minds and remission of our sins, and taught us that we are members of one another. In our scripture reading for today, we hear about the diverse people Christ has called and equipped to be a part of his body, the church. The gifts and the abilities are not just given so that we may feel personally or individually gratified. We are to use our gifts to build up one another and to work together to serve Christ. I'm reading from Ephesians chapter 4 verses 11 through 13 and I'm reading from the New Revised Standard Version. The gifts that he gave were that some would be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers, to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until all of us come to the unity of faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to maturity, to the measure of the full stature of Christ. In your prayer journal, draw a, a body, it could even just be a stick figure, and then label the head Christ. Next, think about the people who are the, the friends, the spiritual companions who are a part of your life, and put their names on the other parts of the body. After you've done this, Offer a prayer to Christ, asking Him to help your friends and you fulfill your calling and purpose as you live in unity and love through the power of Christ. <music> 